Facebook, Instagram, this is your boy Jay Dura, and we are back at it with another video. Remember, we are giving you laughter, realness, and all things reality. I am extremely happy and excited to be back in the YouTube, in the Instagram, and the Facebook streets, um, back in doing entertainment. Um, as you may know, I have uh, been out um, for a good while. I end up taking another break after I definitely said I wasn't going to do it, but I did it anyway. Typically when I take my breaks it is basically really because I'm upgrading equipment or I'm thinking of something very innovative that I want to do and incorporate into the brand as you see that J. Drew is an official state um, qualified and certified brand as you can see I've been on the YouTube streets maybe what since 2012 2013 in March um and I've typically really never had a website. I'm, I've never had, well, let me take that back. I did have a website, but it wasn't pertaining to the brain. It was pertaining to me doing entertainment. So typically the a website I did have was my blog, but I didn't have a personal website nor a website for any of my business. So that's typically what I've been doing and getting straight and getting those things launched. So I have an official brand name along with what I've already incorporated you know since I stepped on the streets I've been giving you laughter realness and reality and that's been the focal point of what I do entertainment wise on the JDWR brand or I do have other brands I'm starting a podcast that's already in the works hopefully I can go ahead and release that next month if not within a couple of weeks um and that is called the Suno Regalio uh podcast I've already uh Transform one of my business pages to that page since I'm not no longer using uh, that brand anymore. So I transform that so that already is building up as well as I already have a tab for that not only on uh, the podcast website but I also have it on my personal website as well. So it will definitely be and I'm definitely finished finishing up working on that. And typically, I think it's going to be um, if I'm not mistaken, um, I think I settled on um, www uh, brand of J, uh, brands of J dot com for that. I want to make sure that that name is not taken um, by anyone else. So when you search me, you can. I would definitely be the first person to pop up. So that's pretty much the um, the domain I'm going to settle on and buy and purchase as it relates to that. Uh, so basically, um, I'm back this time. I'm not leaving. I've have everything set up that I need to have set up. And typically, I'm making a very very big transition. Um, as it relates to my brand and my businesses um as, as if you have not known um that uh facebook instagram and youtube is making a great transition um in regard to what they're getting ready to do within the next year so it's going to be very adamant that i make the transition that i am making and building um my own space so that i can keep my videos monetized my content monetized and all of my things monetized in my own space and i have my own space to host my live streams host anything that I'm given, whether it be subscription subscription based or it's just me um, chatting and conversing um, with my supporters and my members as it relates to my other businesses. So I've created a website. It is a uh, membership based, and everybody can become a member. You can become a member if you already a subscriber. You already are a member, but I'm just going to make sure that you have the necessary information to. Uh, find the site and log on to the site and become a member so you can get all the correspondence all the emails all the text messages anytime that I am live and what I'm going to do uh, as I'm making the transition transition I'm still going to use YouTube I'm still going to use Facebook and Instagram to promote but it's not going to be my main set uh, my main source to where all my information is and monetized I'm going to be making all of my money and my mon monetization will be listed on the website so I'm not paying Instagram um, once I get that monetized I'm not paying YouTube a percentage I I am able to receive those funds based on my content and based on uh, the advertisers that are advertising on my videos and on all of my uh, platforms as it relates to my website and my personal space so that income comes to me that I can build in the account and go along with other things that I have going and that I have that in the works that I'm not speaking about at the moment um, the essence of what J. Daroa brand is, is basically my entertainment brand. It uh, resonates from my first and last name and uh, the preach boy entertainment uh, thing. And the reason why it, uh, you heard me say preach boy, T 
Stevie or Preach Boy. Uh, they're typically the name that my supporters gave me when I first started YouTube. I started doing um, reality TVs and then I also started once they started to come with, I think it was, uh, I think WeTV and um, Us. Was it? I forgot the brand of that network that uh, hosts the uh, Preachers of Detroit and Atlanta. Uh, in those regards, but that's really where I got a lot of my supporters from. That's how my brand grew, and that's how my subscription based uh content grew as well. Because I had a lot of people who did not understand, did who did not understand the church realm, so they didn't understand what the bishops and the apostles and the pastors that didn't understand the assignments. All they saw was pastor, all they know was oh, the pastor met right in this and that he got the big mega church, but they never understood the background as it relates to that or never even understood that a lot of these pastors birthed their businesses and birthed their church out of nothing it wasn't something that a lot of them were passed down to or inherited so a lot of my uh base uh subscribers grew from that the brand grew from that and also grew from love and hip-hop franchise as well as the real housewives of atlanta franchise uh but my career in entertainment really kicked off when the um what is his name when the Eric Gardner situation happened at the convenience store and it um birthed the saying I cannot breathe I did a video on that and literally after I posted maybe a day I received the email um from the producers of CN um, HLN and CNN wanting to use my content and want to also uh, use my content uh to put on the website and also wanted me to do a interview in a newspaper article that was also posted on the site i think i still have screenshots of that if i'm not mistaken it should be in my iCloud or in my um my google stuff um but yeah that's where my career started and that's where jay Durrell uh birth and i was able to work with uh vh1 i was able to be the vip representative for them um, the last thing I did for VH1 before we went into the whole pandemic thing a couple of years back was um, I was the deciding factor of who was getting on it, what was going to take place, who was going to be performing. I think uh, the memory came, this, I think it uh, came back uh, and reminded me, I think I did a live and told y'all that I was working on some things and that was one of the things I was working on. And so I already knew who was performing, who was doing this, because I was on the board of the deciding factor who did that. I haven't worked with them since then because they haven't did it, and especially it's a whole lot of things that haven't been done because of the pandemic and because of the percentage needed for the production and because it has decreased because of the pandemic. A lot of things were shut down. Also, uh, received a lot of things from the producers of uh, Love & Hip Hop Atlanta and the franchise I received. Great accolades from them. Uh, they follow me. Um, accolades from WeTV. Um, accolades from the producers of the Best Man uh, franchise as well. Best Man Holiday and all those things. Um, so I've made a lot of great accomplishments. I have a lot of great fan base. And I have accomplished a lot of things entertainment-wise. So I have, a, I have a lot of very, pretty much say I have a very lot of important people watching me. So it is very adamant that... I not only get back that I um, not only sleep, that I not only upgrade as well my equipment and up, update my brand along with what's going on today. So that's um, pretty much what I'm doing. I have moved uh, my subscriber base from my personal page, and I've created another Facebook page. I'm pretty sure a lot of you either requested or I requested you, and you were added to the uh, J. DeVore brand Facebook page. I'm using that as a promotional, so it's still gonna have a lot of my videos. It's gonna have a lot of my live content as I'm recording and doing my live content, as well as gonna have, uh, still gonna have my articles and still gonna have um, my blogs that I post from the website, as well as po uh, post directly to the website. As uh, I post directly to the Facebook page as well, until Facebook makes the thing, and I'm gonna get into a lot, I'm gonna get into that probably closer to the closing video to give you an update on why I'm doing it um the reason and another reason why I'm doing that um uh, because I want to create my own space I want my subscribers to watch my live videos on my website I want um my subscriber base to move from there so once the transition happens and once YouTube do what they do because that the ag the algorithm of all of these sites a lot of the people are being shadow banned uh a lot of the uh, policies and procedures and the things that they're updating and changing as it relates to um, 
the advertisers saw are not a lot of cursing, not a lot of vocal language, a lot of the topics are being shadow banned or not being monetized. So there's a lot of things that we are being closed mouthed about. And because it, it didn't bother me in a sense, but when it comes to uh, particular topics that I need to discuss as it relates to Black Lives Matter and talking about the leader, what she's doing and what she's all about, um, advertisers is not, is not going to want to advertise on that video as it relates to YouTube because YouTube uh, has a certain algorithm and they want to spend out a certain money, a certain amount of budget. And that's even going to be even, the change is going to affect the big YouTubers. So I'm also encouraging them to make that. To, if, especially if you're a YouTube co uh, content creator or you're using Facebook or Instagram to get your check, whether you're getting checks or making money um, or making a living off of all of those platforms, I'm actually, I'm really t need, telling you that if you're not up to date, you need to get up to date. And as long as you've been creating, you should have already had a website and started to build a fan base on your website. So, because the way the world is shaping now, there's going to be a lot of changes being made and a lot of things are going to be virtual. Hear me clearly. This thing is going to last at least into 2022. And a lot of things church-wise, uh, branding-wise, a lot of things meeting-wise, business-wise, a lot of things in all industries are going to be virtual. So it is adamant if you're a content creator, pastor, preacher, or whatever you do, or however you make your money as it relates to social media, it is adamant that you get your own website and, and uh, host a fan base there so you can stay in um, cahoots with your supporters, your true supporters, the people who support you. Um, it will actually also spend money and support your brand as well, whether it be um, uh, your uh, your chats where you're receiving um, funds as well. So it is adamant that you do that. Make sure you have payment options that are virtual that goes directly to your account but that's neither here nor there um i just came to let you guys know that i am back this is what i'm going to be doing uh i'm going and re another reason why i did move my uh subscriber base from uh my personal account to my other account even though i'm going to be live from my personal account as well as the other account is basically do i have a lot of preachers bishops apostles and a lot of preachers who are on my page and I, for one I don't want them to be mixed in with my subscribers because my subscribers are adding those pages looking for the content looking for me to go live looking for more of me and looking for more more personalized me and the content I'm going to be doing is going to be <coughs> it's going to be controversial a lot of the topics I'm going to be talking about is going to be controversial um, and I don't want people hitting me up I don't want people in my inbox um that are connected to me or any sort saying, hey, you need to take this down. Or, hey, this is this. Hey, this is that. And it's going to be a no. And you're not going to like my response. So to be on the safe side, so I do not have to be that way. But people, I'm going to move my stuff to my other page until I make the full transition to not even need the other brand page anymore. This is going to be for advertising purposes only for my, all of my stuff to be organized and be in one place. Just like I have YouTube, just like I have Instagram. And now I'm organizing it for but by next year, I want to have all of my stuff up and running where my subscribers and my memberships is already up. And I can uh, specifically start going live from there and they get notifications, get taken. This is that part of my uh, private group that is also up and running. But I have not uh, launched that page yet. It's probably gonna, I'm probably going to launch it next month or probably within the next couple of weeks, depending on if I need anything else to add other than me doing this photo shoot. Um, and that's and that's the reason why. Because uh, don't be alarmed. Like I said, you're going to see your favorite pastors. You're going to see your favorite singers um, on there. And my thing is related to my stories and related to my blog posts. A lot of information comes to my desk. A lot of stuff I don't touch on. A lot of stuff I don't want to touch on. If there's not facts or ninety five percent or hundred percent facts of what stories come to me or what st what uh, stories or uh, allegations or um, scandals that is already public then I won't typically do a story on or if the story is not that important and I decide, hey, let me try to do the story and I reach out to the other parties involved. If I do or don't get a response, then typically I won't pull the story. I won't do the story, especially if it's not going to benefit me none financially or as, re as it relates to it being entertaining or a lot of info or if I did research and did not find a lot of information. So if it doesn't have facts and if it's he say or she say or if it's not entertaining, I won't pull in the story. So if you see your favorite past, your pastor, your preacher, whether it be local, whether it be um, mega church or whatever, my main thing is, one, I don't break stories. Two, the reason why I do entertainment is because I am doing laughter 
realness and reality if it does not go along with that then i typically would not be doing the story especially if it's not entertaining anyway and secondly i won't talk about anything that is not already public I, i'm not i'm not in the business of breaking stories unless i am called to unless the lord thy god whispers in my right ear and as assignment related to breaking a story nine times out of ten i won't unless it's already public or something is done behind the scene and it is made public or if it's brought to my attention and it is already public then yes i'm going to do my research i'm going to get my documentation together i'm going to turn on my camera get in my studio record live and upload that's here not so my thing is i'm creating the conversation that needs to be had and that has to be had it will go on long too long in our community and long too long in christianity of hiding stuff and then when it, once it gets exposed and everybody is all up raw when stuff like this been happening down down through the years so we're going to have the conversation so just like john gray keeps on cheating on his wife and john gray is still preaching in the pulpit hurt and still traumatized by his traumatizations of his eight-year-old self and still relates to that and still Put his wife and his family in his church and the media and still embarrassing them even though we're finding out his wife is sick and could possibly have a time limit on her sickness but we're still dealing with john gray yes we're going to have the conversation we're going to have the conversation how long do you, how long do you stay in a marriage where the person is not healed is unhealed don't want to get healed have not sought counseling and still using his eight-year-old traumatization as an excuse to go out and hope we're going to have the conversation that, and that's it. We're gonna have the conversation when there's ex exposition of a pastor sleeping with his sleeping with his members or his pastor sleeping with the head musician who happens to be a male. Why? Because we deem we talk about homosexuality, but nobody in the church never understood or still don't understand. So, and it's still it still uh, gives people the heebie-jeebies once that term is is, is used. Why? Because we have a lot of people in the church, behind the pulpits, behind instruments, and sitting in the congregation who deals with it, but they hide it and hide themselves and end up going to deep depression because every time you come to church, that's the topic of discussion. Or you're in a secret relationship with the pastor and you're tired of being a secret because he has his wife sitting in the front row and that's where you want to be. Or you're in a choir stand or you're the praise and worship leader. But once your secrets get exposed and news gets exposed or someone in the membership finds out and leaks it to the uh, media outlet, no one wants to have the conversation. We're going to have the conversation. We're going to get down to the get down to the depth of it. And then we're going to find a way that we can make this situation be better. So that's what the Jada Word brand is all about. That's what I have been doing. It has been very lucrative for me financially. It has opened up a lot of doors for me entertainment wise. And I've made a lot of great i have met a lot of great people and have made a lot of great connections i'm up upgrading the j world brand and this is what it's going to be and this is how it's going to be i've always done it and always will do it this is my call to have that conversation to bring light to the situation because everybody looks at the surface but no one ever delves to what the root of the problem is and that's why the root of the problem is steady growing and we have and we're getting more pastors more leaders more and more people in the church Exposed and a lot of things are going on in the church where people don't want to come because they hold us to a certain standard and we've been held to a certain standard and we've operated to a certain standard to where when the human side is exposed and the human side comes out, oh, it's like, oh, the pastor doing this or the pastor smoking this or the pastor drinking this or the wife dressed like this and she do like this and she act like this. Let's have the conversation. Let's have it. That is what Jay Durrell the brand is all about and that's what i'm doing same thing with the center regalio podcast i'm bringing two conversations that are opposing and bringing them to one common ground i'm never going to create a brand i'm never going to create another entity of income without an assignment attached and typically you know what my assignment is because it's typically in my slogan jay Durrell brand is all about laughter realness and reality Sooner Gayo podcast is all about bringing two opposing conversations or two opposing things or two different things from different walks of life 
into one common ground. We having a conversation. We come to clarity. We come to what happens next after this conversation. What happens next after this scandal? What happens next after this situation? So that's what I am all about. So I look forward to a lot of people uh, joining forces. I look forward to a lot of more subscribers. I look forward to this brand going higher this time. I could have been way past where I am now. But I, I thank God that I am where I am. And I thank God that I listened. Because now that I'm in the will of God and now that I'm doing it and have everything set to where now there is a direction of where I'm going and where I want to go. Now everything is flourishing. I've waited a lot. Of, a lot of the times I did not post or could have posted a lot of my reviews, a lot of my content on YouTube, and a lot of things I do in entertainment was because I did not want to receive emails. I did not want to receive phone calls. I didn't want people in my comments, and I didn't want people DMing me saying, "Take this down, do this, and do that." I'm not in that season, and we're not doing that. I'm going to post what I want to post, and if you don't like it, if you don't like the preacher that's on, if you don't like what is being done or what is being said or how things are being done, I'm telling you now, don't call me, don't inbox me, don't pull me to the side, don't DM me, don't do any of that, because you're not going to like, you're not going to like my response. And that's that. This is what I'm doing. This is what I have invested in. I have been doing it for a long time. Now it's being taken to another level. And that's that. If you're not invested in the program, you're not investing into my pockets, if you're not being advertised on my content, then you have nothing to say to me about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Obviously, if it if it did not have an assignment attached to it, I won't be doing it. So that's it. And that's that as it relates to that. So I look forward to a lot of great content. I look forward to you people commenting sharing the post i'm looking forward to going viral i'm looking forward of making this transition a great transition and getting back into the entertainment realm and hopefully after everything released we can definitely get back to our reviews of the reality shows and also get back to our scripted tv shows while most of the shows are on break besides the power book so with that being said this is your boy jay drill i'm stepping out of the sanctuary giving you laughter realness and reality don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this video i will be back with more content the next content you will hear and see from me will be my shows which i'm probably either going to start shooting tonight or probably do that when i get home and uh post those lives um, most of my recent content is going to be posted live the other content that i let time get behind i'm just going to previously record those and then upload those to the social media site but thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching i definitely uh will definitely be getting into more of why i'm making the transition how i'm doing it and why i'm doing it and, and the reason why i'm doing it all those things that relates to that uh so be on the lookout i have a i have sent out last night i went to sleep at almost three o'clock in the morning Knowing that I probably would have posted been at work today, but I didn't know the storm and didn't know that it was going to be raining like this. So I had to take off, which allowed me to get a lot of stuff done. So with that being said, I've sent out a lot of interview requests from your people, from favorite people, reality TV star, from your script, scripted TV, as well as your favorite social media influencers. So one, I've received an uh, email back from one person. So I'm going to go ahead and send an interview request and do the required information they're asking me from there. Once that get confirmed and once I solidify a date with that person, I will be back to inform you. And then next, you're going to see who I've confirmed with as well as you definitely will see the uh, social media advertisement. And I'm thinking either it's going to be live. I'm thinking if I'm going to be live on here with the J. Dewar brand or if I'm going to do it podcast from the Sooner Regale brand and just upload it. Or if I do it live here, then I'm just going to use the audio and edit the audio and then post it on Sooner Regale brand as well. So I'm, I'm not going to be coming with content just to be coming. This is not a hobby for me. This is business. So this is how I will be handling business as it relates to your favorite stars, as it relates to my interviews, as it relates to my connections. So that's it. This is your boy, Jay DeRose. Step it out of the sanctuary. We give you laughter, realness, and reality. Peace.